Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be deep cleaning and organizing my kitchen and using all natural products that I got from the Dollar Tree. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through how I declutter and organize every drawer and cupboard in my kitchen, how I use and DIY all the cleaning products, and I'm going to tell you about a really awesome website that I just started using, which is called Top Cash Back, to get money back from shopping online from stores and from buying products that you are already going to be using. I'll have that link down below, and now let's just get started with this cleaning video. I found so many great options for storage and organization. I got some drawer organizers and then also some baskets for underneath my kitchen sink. I also found some options to do all natural cleaning because that's what I love to do in my home and on my channel. Except the magic erasers are not all natural but they work so well that I had to get them anyways. I got everything I needed to clean my kitchen and a couple things were only 50 cents each. I don't know about you guys, but now that I'm a mom, if there is an option to shop online rather than going into the store with my two toddlers, I do it. And Top Cashback's website is really awesome because you can get money back from purchases you are already making of shopping at the stores that you normally would, like Amazon is on there, Target. All you do is create an account with your email and then you click on your favorite stores through their website. I love shopping online for most of the kids' clothes, so all I do is log into my Top Cashback account and then click on Target.com and it takes me straight to their website and then I just complete my shopping trip like normal. Not only do they pay out the highest rates of a website like this, but there's no minimum payout. If you make a dollar, they will pay you a dollar. Also, they have a special bonus for my viewers. When you sign up, you get a $10 bonus upon spending your first $25 and you need to hurry up and get that because it will be expiring July 15th. I'll have that link down below and now let's get into the cleaning. So my whole goal with this video is to inspire you guys to organize your kitchen in a way that you won't have to keep organizing it over and over and over again. And I've learned the key to that is minimalism. So today I'm going through every single drawer, every single cupboard, and giving everything a good clean as I go. My favorite way to attack a cleaning job is to completely empty this, that section of all of its contents because then I have to be committed and finish the job. After that, I'm just going to give the, all the drawers a good vacuum. And then I'm going to be doing our first DIY cleaning solution. The acid in lemon juice really helps remove stains, but it also disinfects as you're using it, which is great. I'm going to use it to make an all-purpose spray. So all I'm going to do is take two cups of water and to that add six tablespoons of lemon juice. And I was gonna try to pour it in the bottle first, but that would have made a huge mess. So pour it into the measuring cup full of water. Um, I'm going to take a glass spray bottle. This one's from Grove Collaborative. And then I just carefully pour it into my spray bottle. I think a funnel would be probably a good idea to get, but again, I'm trying to be minimalistic, so I just carefully pour it in. I also found these great multi-purpose cleaning cloths at the Dollar Tree, which were only a dollar for a pack of two, and these replace paper towels, and they are seriously amazing, because you can just throw them in the wash. I am going to go back and get more, because cutting down on paper towels will not only save the planet, but it will save you a lot of money as well. So I just spray each drawer with our all-purpose lemon cleaner, and then wipe each drawer out with the cloth. After that, I'm just kind of reorganizing things as I go. The bottom drawer didn't need all that much organization. Um, and then the next drawer up is going to be like my Tupperwares. And I'm trying to cut down on plastics in my home. So there are a couple pieces that were like either a little bit mismatched or stuff that didn't belong in there. Um, so I'm just gonna throw away the plastic Tupperwares that are reusable and keep my glass ones. And if it's something like that that's not healthy for you, you should never feel bad about throwing it away. The next drawer is for all my hand towels and dishcloths. Um, not much organization going on there, but in the top drawer, I have all my hot pads, the kids' aprons, and bibs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold up all the bibs so that they can fit neatly into a pile. And then I grabbed one of the organization bins, um, which was the perfect size to hold all of them. And then I folded up all of their little aprons and put them on the side. I 
I do have a few cloth bibs that my kids never use. They just rip them off whenever I put them on them. And I almost save them because I hate throwing things out. But in all reality, why am I even letting them take up space in my drawers when I have no use for them whatsoever? The next cover I wanted to tackle is one that I have done a little bit of organization to and it's the kids snack and dishes cupboard. Um, I like to have all the kids stuff together because it just makes it easy to have it all in one place. But it was getting kind of cluttered so again I just like to empty everything out and start with the bare cupboard and then grab my cleaning solution again and wipe it down. There weren't a whole lot of crumbs so I didn't worry about going in with the vacuum. The first bin is for all their snacks. I actually got this basket from Target. Um, I have some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies in there, some juice boxes, um, stuff like that. And then I have another bin for their snack cups and little um, containers to hold snacks and stuff. And then I just stacked all of their little dishes and some recipe books around the bins. I have a lot of essential oils that were just kind of scattered throughout this cupboard because I like to diffuse them in the kitchen. So I grabbed these cute little bins from the Dollar Tree which were the perfect size and I actually separated them into what I like to use in my bathroom and laundry room. And then the ones that I like to use in the mornings I just put in my cupboard so they'd be easily accessible. The next container I went through was for the kids medicines and teething tablets, stuff like that. The first thing I did was go through looking at expiration dates and then just throwing away anything that had already expired. We had two thermometers so I got rid of one of those. I'll probably donate the things that I don't need. I was surprised at how much I could get rid of just because they had expired or I was they were almost completely empty and I didn't know why I was keeping them. After that everything fit neatly into the container. A little container like this is the perfect way to store all of the baby medicine. The last thing I put in there were our bento boxes that we like to put our lunch in when we go to the zoo. Once you start organizing like this, you're going to find that it's addicting and you're not going to want to stop because it just feels really good. For the items that you're not going to keep, just store them in a little bag until you have a chance to either donate them or give them away to a friend. The next area that typically needs a lot of organization is the silverware cupboard. There was tons of straws, random objects in there, and a lot of stuff that I could get rid of. So I just quickly vacuumed and cleaned the drawer before placing everything back. And then I put back the main thing, which is obviously the silverware, and then saw what kind of space I had around it. And then the drawer organizers are gonna be the key to keeping this looking nice. So I had a long one for all the straws. I just kind of played around with um, whatever sizes would work with the space best. So grabbing a few different sizes of storage organization is probably a good idea because then you can just return what you don't need. Anyways, it's really nice to have a space for all the straws and keep them separate from all the kids utensils it's gonna make it a lot easier to keep organized but also find things when I need them another space was our junk drawer which just gets so cluttered I once heard that organized clutter is still clutter and ever since then I've been trying to just decrease what I have and only keep the essentials. So I know you can't see this but just off camera I had a pile of everything that was in that junk drawer and I went through separating it to three piles that I wanted to keep and then one pile of stuff that either needed to be gotten rid of or find a different place. Um, so in this drawer I only put pens and pencils in one drawer organizer because I'm always looking for those and then in another one was all of our twist ties and bag clips that kind of a thing and then in the last one were batteries. Anything else did not belong in that drawer and then I put it all in a bag to go through later. Yeah. 
I know this doesn't really go along with cleaning, but this rug was always sliding around and I was really surprised to find this non-slip rug underlay at the Dollar Tree because at Target they're like $5. Um, so I had to show you guys this because it was such a good buy and now my rug is not going to slip around anymore. So the place that I was putting off and putting off that I needed to just dive into was underneath my sink. It is such a mess and it just looks so ugly. The best way to start a job is just getting in and doing it. So I completely emptied everything. I had a pile of garbage just off camera, anything that could be thrown away, like old bags that were getting dirty or wet. Um, and then just I have just so much junk down there. It's not even funny. But anyways, to clean this area because there was a little bit of mold in the corner, which I should have had the gloves on at this point, but I didn't. So always wear gloves. If it's a ton of mold, um, just do some research on how to clean because it can be uh, toxic. But hydrogen peroxide is such a great cleaner because not only does it disinfect things, but it also kills mold. Um, so I just put some in a squirt bottle and sprayed around down there. I only had this Dollar Tree squirt bottle. If you're going to store your hydrogen peroxide, you should store it in a dark squirt bottle like the brown glass kind because it will turn into water if the sunlight touches it, which is a fact that I did not know. Anyways, after that, I just cleaned it with a paper towel because I wanted to throw that away and not, not put that through my laundry. And it cleaned off the mold really well. But again, just in case you need to clean mold, make sure you wear a mask and gloves. The hydrogen peroxide was a really great cleaner and it was only 50 cents. Once it was clean, I put back the essentials, my garbage bags, which I need to figure out a better way of keeping them because that box is just so ugly. Um, I had this basket that I thought would be great to make it easier to grab um, my dishwasher detergent pods. And then I had another big basket in place for anything um, like my refill, dish soap, hand soap, all of that kind of thing. I did find this rack to go on the back of a kitchen cabinet, but unfortunately it didn't fit on mine because we have the child locks on them, um, but I think that was a really great one for a dollar. I would have used it if I could. In front of the basket, I just put anything that I want to be able to grab on a daily basis, um, and the basket just made everything look so neat. I love that it is white because it just kind of brightens up down there. Because that rack didn't fit on the back of my drawer, I just used the old one that I had before, which I really like this one still. On it, I just put my most frequently grabbed cleaners and then also my fruit and vegetable wash. For my bags, I grabbed a larger glass container with a wide mouth. And then because I'm planning to get a lot more of those cleaning cloths, I put them in a stack in front of my paper towels so that I would always reach for those first. Another cute Dollar Tree find were these pink rubber gloves, which again, I forgot to put them on at first, but I wanted them to be easy to grab as well, so I just hung them on that little rack. For any brushes, you can just recycle a glass jar. This one was from Peaches from Trader Joe's. It's just the perfect size for them to fit upright. It looks really neat, but also it's gonna catch any water that might drip off of your brushes. Once it was done, I was so much happier with the way it looked. This is how I've been wanting underneath my sink to look, um, and I was really happy that I just got in and did it. The next thing I want to deep clean are my cutting boards because they get really dingy over time. So I'm just gonna pour some lemon juice over them to kind of brighten them and clean them. And like I said before, lemon juice really helps disinfect them. And if you have any cuts or scrapes on your hands, you are definitely gonna wanna wear gloves for this part. Um, and then to help scrub them off, you can add some salt, which is a really great natural abrasive. Um, so you can let them soak for a little bit and then just scrub them off and it should help remove any stains or dark spots that are on your cutting boards.
One thing I've started doing is storing my cutting boards on the counter. They're very easy to grab that way. I think it looks really nice and also they hide all my cords and my Vitamix as well. To clean my laminate countertops, I'm just going to use the all-purpose spray we made and then adding a little bit of salt to gently scrub off any stains. So because mine are white, they just get stains easily. I don't know who thought that white would be a good idea in a kitchen, it, but any berry stains or like a coffee splash, this helps get it off. After that, I just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and it's good to go. Recently, I've been going through all of my kitchen supplies and utensils, just trying to declutter as much as I can, so I don't have a whole lot to throw out in this video, but I really encourage you guys to go through all of your kitchen utensils and see what you have duplicates of or something that you never use anymore or just worn out hand towels and stuff and just pare down as much as you can getting down to the basics. But because I like to cook, I do have a lot of cooking utensils and gadgets, um, but I do try to keep them fitting in these two drawers. But a couple drawer organizers are gonna help me keep it a lot tidier. There's really not that much rhyme or reason to how I organize things other than how it fit really well, but the left drawer holds all the things that I use the most often. Vinegar has so many great uses. This is something that you absolutely want to have in your home. We're gonna make a cleaner by filling a spray bottle with 50% distilled white vinegar, and then the second 50% is going to be water. This makes a really great window cleaning solution because it will break down any hard water spots and it doesn't leave any streaks. I also wiped it down with one of those cleaning cloths which work really great instead of using paper towels. At first the vinegar is going to leave a really strong vinegar smell but that fades quickly and it also is going to deodorize the air. To clean any drains that might be a little bit slow, a great solution is to pour a cup of baking soda down them. After that, try pouring down a cup of hot vinegar. You can heat it up in your microwave. Let that sit for 10 minutes and it's gonna really clean out your drain. After that, you wanna pour down a pot of boiling water and you will notice a huge difference with how quickly everything drains down your sink. To clean out my microwave, I'm just going to pour a cup of vinegar in a measuring cup that is microwave safe and microwave that for about two to three minutes. Um, not only is this going to loosen up any junk that's in your microwave and make it really easy to wipe out, but it's going to take care of the odors as well. You can take one of these cleaning cloths and use it around your Swiffer so that you can reuse that as well. Just get it damp first and then wring it out. Um, and then put it around your Swiffer. And then what I'm going to do is spray down my whole floor with that 50-50 vinegar and water solution that we made. And it makes a really great laminate or hardwood floor cleaner as well. going to do is to clean our sponges. This is something that would be really great to have the habit of doing once a week because sitting in the sink our sponges can just grow mold and just get dirty over time. So all you want to do to clean them is place them in a bowl. You can do this with your brushes as well and you just want to fill that with hydrogen peroxide. Not only is it going to clean and disinfect them but it is going to kill any mold that is growing in them as well. All you're going to do is fill the bowl with your hydrogen peroxide and then let them soak in it overnight. Once again, don't forget that the link to Top Cashback will be down in the description box below. It is so quick and easy to sign up for and use, and you can immediately start getting cash back on all of your online shopping. 
you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and got a lot of great ideas and tips from it. I love hearing from you guys, so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it or just want to say hi, please comment down below and letting me know what kind of video you'd like to see next. A thumbs up also never hurts as well. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.